Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given equation 3w plus 2i w star equal to 17 plus 8i, where w star denotes the complex conjugate of the complex number w. And we are supposed to give our answer in the form of a plus bi. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that this star over here is also called asterisk. And furthermore, we are not supposed to use the calculators of any kind. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And before we go any further, let's talk about this I. I stands for imaginary number and always remember that I is equal to square root of negative 1. And here's the very first step. Let's talk about this uh, W, the complex number. We have been told that W is written as A plus B I then its conjugate w star could be written as a minus b i. The only difference is we are going to switch the sign. Positive becomes negative. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this equation. And here I have just copied it down as you can see. And now wherever we see W and W star, we are going to replace it by A plus BI and A minus BI as well. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So three times W in our case is A plus BI plus 2I times W star in our case is A minus B I equals to we are going to leave everything same on the right hand side 17 plus 8 I. Let's go ahead and distribute this one over here. So this is going to become 3 A plus 3 B I plus we are going to distribute this one as well. So that is going to give us 2ai minus 2bi times i is going to become i square equal to 17 plus 8i. Now let's recall i is always equal to square root of negative 1. If I square both sides I'm going to square both sides. So i square is going to be this square and square root they undo each other. So i square turns out to be negative 1. So wherever we see i square, I am going to replace it by negative 1. So this could be written as 3a plus 3bi plus 2ai minus 2b times i square is negative 1. I am going to substitute that value equal to 17 plus 8i. And here in the next step in this equation, I just multiplied this negative time negative become positive 2b. The rest is same. Now let's go ahead and rearrange these terms. This 3a and plus 2b, they are going to go together. And likewise, this 3bi and 2ai are going to go together. And here I have rearranged these terms as you can see. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and put down this 3a plus 2b in the parentheses plus over here we can factor out i which is in common so i can bring out i and this could be written as 2a plus 3b equal to 17 plus 8i 
Now in this next step, let's go ahead and compare the coefficients. We are going to equate this uh, real part with the, this real part on the right hand side. And likewise, this imaginary part, we are going to compare with uh, this another side on this imaginary part. So thus we can write this one as 3a plus 2b equal to 17 and the other equation is going to be 2a plus 3b equal to simply 8. And here we got a system of two equations and we are going to solve this one for a and b by using the elimination method. Let me go ahead and call this first equation as equation number one and the second as equation number two. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and multiply this equation one by this whole equation by negative three and this second equation by two. So thus our equation one is going to become negative nine a minus six b equal to negative 51 and our second equation is going to become simply 4a plus 6b equal to 16 and now let's go ahead and add these two equations once we add this thing this negative 6b and positive 6b this is gone so we got this on this side that is going to give us negative 5 a equal to on this side is going to give us negative 35. Now let's divide both sides by negative 5 to isolate a. So that means our a value turns out to be 7. And now let's go ahead and substitute this a equal to 7 value in this equation 1. And here's our equation one. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So a in our case is seven. So this becomes three times seven plus two times b equal to 17. So we got 21 plus two b equal to 17. Let's go ahead and subtract 21 from both sides to isolate b. So this is gone. So we ended up with 2b turns out to be negative 4. So that means our b value turns out to be negative 2. And here's our final step. For this given equation, our a value turns out to be 7 and b value is negative 2. So thus our complex number w becomes simply, I'm going to replace a by 7 and b by negative 2. So this becomes 7 minus 2i and that is our answer. So thus our answer turns out to be 7 minus 2i. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.